All right, time to take a look at the BR-E1B Canon camera remote. Oh, it does come with a battery and instruction manual, and we got the remote. I'm glad it came with a battery because I was assuming that we needed to actually buy our own. I even bought this big 10 pack of batteries, but fortunately I don't need to use them, so that's good. So it's got some desiccant. We have a tether. So the tether can go right through that corner and loop it back on itself. And we got our tether attached. So then we got the W and the T. So what that's for is there is a very specific accessory that works with a very specific lens that Canon makes. So you've got this motor with a lens on top of it and the motor will actually turn the zoom on the lens. And so you can use these two buttons to adjust that. So W is of course gonna make it wider and then T is for telephoto. So you can zoom in, zoom out. And here we got the autofocus button and we got the picture button. And the buttons feel good. They feel nice and clicky. And then on the side, we've got our different modes. So we've got our regular shooting. So you just press the button and it fires the camera. Then you've got a two second release. So you press the button, wait two seconds, and then it takes a picture. So that's good if you want to kind of get set up first so you don't have your just your finger pointing out when you're taking a picture. And then we got movie mode. So we can do all this just with this remote. So that's quite a bit of functionality. So here we got our battery door. I'm just gonna use a washer to pop that open. Then we can take our coin so. And this is a Maxell CR2032. There we go. So first we need to put the camera in Bluetooth. Okay. Then we go to Wi-Fi Bluetooth connection. And I go to pair to remote. Now we're going to hold the W and the T buttons for three seconds. There we go. And we are connected. And then on this camera, we have to set the drive mode to remote. So normally it's on single shooting and we have to set it to self timer 10 seconds or remote. So now that it's on remote, I can press the button and it takes a shot. And two seconds. There we go. And video doesn't do anything on this one because I actually have to have it set for video mode on this particular camera. So let's go ahead and do that. There we go. Cool. And we're recording. Pretty great stuff. And if I whack the focus way out, I can hit autofocus and we focus. Pretty cool. So yeah, overall, that is a pretty great remote.